What's going on guys? Oddman MC back at you again with another episode here in Minecraft. And if you did if you missed my last video on the uh, 20W15A snapshot, go ahead and click the link up above and it'll take you to that. But we're going to get on into today's video. So today I have a couple builds that I'd like to show you that I've been working on playing around with the different Blackstone uh building blocks that we got in the latest snapshot this first one that i have here is just a simple kitchen uh build you might have seen some other people use this before but the way i use the blackstone is as a countertop it kind of reminds me of like a granite countertop like some of those black marbles that you can find that looks really cool and then i also use the pressure plate here to add a little bit of contrast and it just looks a little nice i, I think it goes really well with the dark oak um trap doors and then just a simple then you can play with this any way you want. This is just kind of like what I've played with as well. The next one that I have for you is this really small fireplace. I have another one that's a little more ornate that I'm going to show you in a second. But what I did was I used the uh, chiseled polished blackstone kind of as the end caps here. And then there's walls, the blackstone walls all the way around to kind of add this little lip that kind of comes out. Of course, we got the uh, soul fire campfire in there. And then this is the gilded blackstone with the little flecks of gold. I think it looks a little bit more like ash from the fire than uh, like a magma block does. So this is another fantastic uh, just little detail that we can get from these new building blocks. Next we have a, sim a little enchanting area. It's, it's a standard 30 level enchanting area, but the detail in it is just a little bit more, uh, you know, crazy <laughs> um you don't have to go uh boxy like this you can kind of do whatever you want this is just something i came up with um i think the blackstone fits really well in like medieval themes or darker themes so this is kind of what i came up with again you don't have to go this crazy but you can you take little bits of the in details from this if you'd like um what i really like are the crying obsidian i know they're not going to be available yet i can't i don't know if they've released how we're going to get them but i think they look fantastic as little um power blocks that are like powering the enchantment area and stuff like that they just look like they're full of energy and i feel like that could be transferred into uh what you're doing with your enchantment so you can take what you want from this if you don't like it at all that's okay you can hit the dislike button down below um again this is just something i played around with i really like it it's something i plan on using eventually but yeah this is what i came up with and next we have the more ornate fireplace this is a little bit smoother i feel but it's got a little bit more to it again we have these end caps here of the polished chiseled uh black stone using actual black stone kind of like a cobblestone kind of coming up we get a little bit of a curve from the stairs we use stairs as a little bit more of a lip you could easily dress this up top with kind of whatever you want like you could put a couple flower pots where are those at let's take a couple of those and grab a couple Flowers. I'm going to grab my blue orchid because that is my favorite and you can even grab a wither rose that would look really cool on here so but you could easily uh, decorate this in any way shape or form that you would want you can add you can make this look like it's some kind of evil villain lair and add a secret redstone entrance behind it that would be really cool and I'd love to experiment with something like that um, you can put the dragon head on it that would be sick yeah just kind of anything like that um, what I used here as kind of the back part of the fireplace is these respawn anchors now these are going to be able to help us respawn if we die i think in the nether but they look fantastic as just detailed blocks i i don't i can't really tell what that is but it just looks amazing and I, again i use the gilded blackstone as ashes before and this is just the tools uh smithing table i love the texture of the smithing table as a floor block and also underneath is great for ceilings if you didn't know that but again take what you want from here if you don't like it that's okay but this is just something i came up with and finally I saw the black stones and the first thing that came to mind was Batman. So this is a very rough interpretation of the Batmobile, but I think it looks fairly similar to the Michael Keaton run of, ba of Batman with Tim Burton. So this is kind of where I got the idea from. I, if I had to change anything, I would change the back of this and make it a little bit more swoopy. And actually, let's see what that actually looks like. Um, if I just go into my inventory and I grab some stairs and just bring back that a little bit yeah that that even just changed it a little bit i love that and then back here 
this is kind of where the jet engine would be. I used a lodestone. This is going to be our way to, I think, compasses will always come towards the lodestone. But again, I would love to use this as just a floor texture. It looks amazing. I think this would go really well with some of the other things, like even the... Uh, uh, smithing table but that is the batmobile you can again you can take what you want from this i think it looks really cool i'm gonna probably uh, rebuild my bat cave at some point in my next season of mc Playblow. but again take what you want this is just an idea that i had all right guys that is enough for today's video thank you so much for tuning in if you like that video hit that like button hit the subscribe button if you want to see more i'm planning a bunch of other builds with these black stones this is probably my favorite thing that has come out in a while besides soul stone elevators uh so if you liked anything from this video comment down below if you had any other ideas let me know down below i'd love to hear it if you want to collab on anything uh, feel free to hit me up on twitter at oddmanmc1 um you can email me at oddman at mc at gmail or you can just contact me here on youtube that is perfectly fine uh sometimes i stream on twitch and sometimes i stream here on youtube but that's enough for me today guys always remember the most important thing is to be odd and wash your hands. Peace, guys.